Welcome back, you guys. Thank you for joining me for another uh, section of my project, no, my makeup inventory collection series. This part four is all about the eyes. Now you're probably wondering why am I featuring face mists, setting sprays type things on the section that's for the eyes. Well, I don't know where else to put these. I guess I could have put them in the like base products, like after my face powders, foundations, and all that stuff, but I forgot. So I figured I would just share with you, share them with you at the beginning of this section and we can get them out of the way. So I do have three, they are full size. This one first is from NYX, the Bear With Me. This came free with gift with purchase and it's a full size, so I got a really good deal on that one. Something I've used before, the Fix Plus from MAC and my favorite setting spray of all time, Urban Decay All Nighter. That is the best, the best, the best. Um, setting spray that I have ever used, will continue to always repurchase. This next section is also another one of those kind of mixed uh, products, but we're gonna start from left to right. Starting with mascaras, I have three. I should really have four. My sister sent me one in my Christmas package and I have no idea what I did with it. Like I looked at the, I would make sure that I wasn't gonna throw it away in the box and it just disappeared. I don't know if Brownie ate it. She could have potentially, I have no idea, but that one's missing. So right now I only have three. This one is from Sephora. This is the uh, Volume Extra Large um, Size Up Mascara. Never used this one, so I'm excited to try it. I've tried this one before, the, Car the Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. I really like it. And then this one's also new to me. I bought it because it was on sale um, from L'Oreal as well, the Lash Paradise in a waterproof version. I really enjoy my waterproof mascaras. I don't think this one is waterproof, but uh, this one for sure is. So these are my three mascaras currently. Then I have one eyeshadow primer uh, right here. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion, the original version. I know they have like colorful, not colorful ones, but one with like a little bit of shimmer, things like that, but I only have the one. And then over here, I have my brow products. I only have two. This one is brand new from Merit. I got it in PR. This is a Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade in the color um, Black Brown. I had one that was like brown or, or medium brown, and I thought it was a little bit too red, so hopefully this one is a little bit of a better, better match for me. And then this one was the uh, pomade that I've been using all year long. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Brow Mousse in the color medium brown. And I used maybe about half of it. This is how much product I have. I have been using, since I started using my Panda palette, the brown shade there as a brow shade. Maybe once I'm done with that one, I'll come back and, and use this guy, guy up and hopefully I can finish it. So I used about half. This product used to be like way up until this little ridge from the this line right here. So I did use about, about half in 2023. So hopefully in 24, I can use the rest of that. But that's everything for this section. Next, I have my eyeliners. I have my pencil liners right here. I have my liquid liners and my gel liners. So these five right here are in the black category. There's one that's technically gray here from Tarte but these are would be my black ones. I have one from Urban Decay, the tart one that I just mentioned, Bobbi Brown, Laura Geller, and this MAC one. Then in the brown family section, I have three. This one is from Bobbi Brown in the color black chocolate. This one, uh, this brown, <laughs> brown one from the Sephora line in the color cocoa, and then they have this other brown one from Laura Geller. In the blue family, I have this one from the Sephora line, and then this one from Mali, it's more of a navy blue as opposed to this bright, vibrant blue. And then next to it, I have the greens. I have this one from Tarte in the color Jade and then this, uh, this other one, which would be more of a teal kind of color. Then moving on to the liquid liners, I have one black one. It's a little mini one from Lancome. It's the... Um, uh, Idol Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner. Oh, it's nice that it's waterproof. And then this one from Benefit. This is the Roller Liner Eyeliner in a brown shade. And then this one is the only potted or gel-like uh, liner. It's from Kat Von D. In the Lemmy Green shade, 
Maybe this is KVD already, I don't know. But as you guys can see, I have used it a little bit. I have a little bit of a dip going on there, um, but I still have a ton of product left in here. Basically all of this, this is just glass. Uh, but I remember enjoying it, so hopefully I can get more use out of this guy before it dries out completely. I have several eyeshadow crayons from what you can see right here. I feel like I've made a good dent in these. I feel like I had more last inventory. But anyway, these are, I think, from oldest to newest. I have this full size from Laura Mercier in the color copper. Then a little baby one in the color strapless. These used to get, you used to get with like every single gift with purchase type thing. And then this one from Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, this is uh, Champagne Diamonds, is that the color? I'm not sure. It could be. I'm not sure. And then I have these three from the Sephora line. I have one in the shade just brown. Yeah. And then this one, more of a orangey terracotta shade in the color. Let me flip it over. Red terracotta. <laughs> How original. And then this one right here in the color soft tinsel. Tinsel? Tinsel. Thistle. <laughs> soft thistle it's kind of like a little purpley lavendery shade then this one came as a gift with purchase as well uh, from some sort of ulta goodie bag it's uh, nyx jumbo eye pencil in the color milk i think um does it say yeah milk i just knew it was milk because it's a white color i've never had a white eye crayon so i wouldn't even know how to start using this guy so if you guys have any tips let me know and then these last two are the newest one in my collection i bought these earlier this year during ulta's 21 days of beauty i think in the spring and i was very disappointed they are the it cosmetics superhero no tug shadow stick these are just not as pigmented as i thought they were gonna be um maybe i can give you guys a little swatch See, like the purple one, you can't even see. It's right there, and this one's just very light. I was very disappointed with the pigmentation. I don't recommend these, and I would never buy them again. Then moving on to like liquid slash potted eye eyeshadows. I have just one liquid one, and it's from Tarte. This is the Rainforest of the Sea um, Sea Glass eyeshadow, maybe, and it's in the color Sweet Life. This is just a kind of like a doe foot applicator type um, eyeshadow very liquidy um, super pigmented it's very pretty um, and it's the last the last uh, what do you call it it's very glittery too you can't really um, blend it out because it just yeah it just doesn't do good with that but um, it's a fine liquid eyeshadow I'm not a fan of liquid eyeshadow so once I use that one up, I would never repurchase. Then I have this one from Tarte. This is the Chrome Paint Shadow Pot in the color Park Avenue Princess. It's a very pretty um, ooh, 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 golden coppery color. Ugh, there you go. Can you see? It's very pretty. It reminds me kind of, because of this thing, it reminds me of those from L'Oreal. That, that, I don't know. I don't remember the name, what they were called, but it reminds me of L'Oreal. And then this is from Marc Jacobs. This is the Sequins Glam Glitter Eyeshadow in the color Blitz Glitz. It's a very dark purpley shade. Another one that has this little press thingy. Very, very pretty purpley shade. I think it's very pretty. And then the last one that I have here is from MAC. It's a Pro, Lo Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. This is brand new. I haven't opened it because I'm still working on my um other one what is it called painterly so until i use that one up i will not open this guy up and then last but not least i have my container here with all my single shadows so they're all here i uh, usually i layer lay them out for you guys to see but like i said i'm trying a little different format this year so uh yes these are all singles and let's just dive into them right first here i have i'm going to share with you guys the loose eyeshadows that I have here. These are from the brand Shawnee. If you guys remember last year, was it last year or the year before? I got this like makeup kit. I didn't care for most of the makeup, but I really did enjoy these um, pigments. Eyeshadow pigments, I guess you can call them, or loose shadow, whatever. You have a little lavender one, a gold champagne one, and then kind of a silvery white shade. They're very pretty. Um, the lavender one is called, oh no, they're all called shimmer powder. 
So <laughs> there you have it. We have these three here. Then we have this, um, I guess, a loose pigment or loose shadow from uh, Kat Von D. This came from the Serpentina palette. You have, I think, nine pressed shades and then it comes with one loose pigment. This is kind of a green gold color. It's very pretty. Um, and I hope I can start working on it one day. The thing with these loose eyeshadows is that they take forever. I've never tried repressing loose eyeshadows. If you guys have, let me know in the comments. See if, if they work out okay after. And then I have this one from Artist Couture. This is the Spotlight Glitz um, Loose Pearls. I don't know, I'm, I'm counting this as a loose eyeshadow. <laughs> um, this has, still has a little sticker here, which I haven't removed and I'm not going to, but as you guys can see, it's another champagne-y gold color. Uh, looks to be very, very pretty. And the last one I think I have is this from Bare Minerals. I've tried panning this before. <laughs> this is the, um, the Bare Minerals eye color uh, in the color gold metal. And let me make sure none of this comes out. It's another... <laughs> Uh, golden shade. I used one of these before in a different shade and it was real pretty. So I know that I can use them. Uh, I just have to kind of focus on them, maybe put them in a project pen. So now, oh, well, it didn't break, <laughs> which is always good. Let's go with Urban Decay, I guess. These are the Urban Decay single shadows. This one is in the color Lounge. It's kind of a dual chrome shade. You can't really see it here, unfortunately, but it's kind of like a green brown gold um purple shade it's very very pretty then i have this one in the shade scratch this comes this has come in eyeshadow palettes if i'm not mistaken so i know that i i probably have another double of this somewhere else so so ooh, ooh, ooh. and i popped this out look <gasps> i didn't know that they popped out oh my gosh I this was an accident. It wasn't even the one that fell. This is the one that fell. <laughs> Let me make sure that it does like press down in place. I have a few singles here. This is like a single sampler from Aether Beauty. Um, this is the Rose Quartz Crystal Gemstone. Is that the color? Rose Quartz. Uh, but it's a little mini eyeshadow. So that's that one. And then I have this little one from Wet n Wild. This is in the color Nutty. Um, this was supposed to be a dupe for some sort of MAC shade. I can't remember which one. Um, and it's obviously in super old because this is the old packaging. Uh, I should really get into using that one. Then another single I have here from NARS. This is in the color Himalaya or Himalaya. I don't know. But it's a very pretty um, like shimmery color. Can I see how pretty that is? Super, super pretty. Then I have another one that's uh, like a single. It's from MAC. This is in the color Deception. This is a frost shadow. Uh, this is my last MAC eyeshadow single that I have, you guys. I used to have like three or four, and now I only have this one. So I'm very happy to see at least that come down in, in the numbers. Then I have uh, a single one from Kat Von D. This is from Kat Von D. This is the um, Metal Crush eyeshadow in the color Raw Power. I do have two more of these <laughs> in palettes, but when they released them in singles, I was like, I love this shade so much, I need to have it. And I purchased it. <laughs> so I do know that I do have it at least in the Metal Matte and the Mini Metal Matte palette. So yeah, three of the same shade. Then let's see, I have two of, from Natasha Denona. I have one that's like an actual single. Uh, from the retro palette, it's like a little sample. This is only 0.4 grams, so maybe I can use this guy up and get it out of my collection. That's nice to know. And then this one is another sample with a little bit more cheapy, cheaply packaged uh, and in the color silk. And maybe, are they like the same size? Maybe they are the same size. Maybe they're both 0.5 grams. Maybe I can get them out this year. That was, that was nice to discover. Then I have a ton of Sephora, um, different versions. This one, I'll start with this one. This is the Sephora Outrageous Prisma Chrome in the color Metallic Taupe. Very pretty shade. Uh, it's kind of like, I don't know if it's baked. 
a baked product, but it does have a quilted imprint. And as you guys can see, I kind of used it here a little bit, uh, but then I stopped focusing on it because I have so much makeup. So eventually I'll get back to that one. This one is the colorful shade, um, colorful eyeshadow, I guess, in the color B on the A-list, number 49. I have used some other Sephora uh, colors and I know that I like it. Um, this is kind of, as you guys can see, I have a lot, a lot of like taupey colors. I went through a phase where I really enjoyed taupey shades, so don't judge me too much. Then I have four of the new formula, which obviously they are newer than the other two. But this one, um, this is the colorful glitter eyeshadow in the color Unicorn Dust. And these are smaller in size compared to how they, how they used to be, like how much product you used to get. If I could open it, my goodness. And this is another one that's kind of a, a dual chrome. It's kind of like a purpley pink shade, very pretty. Then this one, well, this one's the other one that's kind of metal. That one was like a glitter effect. This one is more of a me metallic effect. And this is in the color number five, Meteor. And it's a very pretty color. I have used it a little bit. There's even a dip, if you guys can see. Love this shade. Then these two are, no, this is another shimmer one. This, I think this one came in with a gift with purchase because I don't think I would buy something that's bright white. <laughs> but this is the number 204 under the cover. And like I said, it's like a shimmery white shade. And this last one is a matte color. And this is Morning Sunrise. And it's a very, very pretty shade. Kind of like an orangey terracotta shade as well. And then last but not least, I have all these ColourPop shades. I'm not gonna open them. I'm just gonna show you guys the color. This one is Six in the City. It's kind of a pinky shade. This one right here is uh, a maze, kind of a golden shade. This one right here is in the color Weenie, more of a pinky coppery shade. I bought most of these shades because of Love Heatherette. <laughs> um, this one, Prickly Pear, more of a darker color. Then this one right here, as you guys can see, most of them are used uh, in the color Sequin of a pinky metallic shade. Then a, a more of a light pink. This is Twitter Padded. Then this one is in the color Lala, kind of a bronzy color. This one is more of a yellow um, mustard color. This is in the color The Six. And last but not least, I have Tea Party which is a, an orangey pinky shade. So there you have it, you guys. Those are my current single eyeshadows. Hopefully I can get one or two. I have one, uh, another one in my, another ColourPop shadow in my um, products I wanna use up in 2024. And it's more of a silvery shade. And I hope to use that one up. So that would be nice. That's all I have for now for this um, eye portion of my makeup inventory. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.